Brothers is here today at District 15. We have a low density project called Steel 123. Three plus study at a ground floor unit with an extra large kitchen space for the chef in you. So we are just 10 minutes walk to Yunos MRT and with Juchet right around the corner, you get to indulge in specialty shops while taking in nostalgic bites from the preserved shop houses. So stay tuned as we take you through this home tour. Let's go! So here we are in this 3 plus study unit. What we have here today is actually a ground floor unit. But despite it being a ground floor unit, unlike other developments, you do have full livable and usable internal space because we do not have that extra large patio space here. So you get to maximize your internal usable space. So Steel 123 is a freehold project in D15. This is an extremely low density project with just nine units in the whole development. So for those of you who prefer the additional layer of peace and tranquility, I think this is for you. This is the only ground floor unit in this project. What we think is that this is also the most convenient unit because your car park lots are actually located right outside the unit, almost doorstep access. So we are actually located along Langside Road. We still want to treat is located towards the upper boundary of D15 area. We are actually closer to Yunos. So we are just 10 minutes walking distance to Yunos MRT. We are bounded by the main road, Changi Road, connecting from east to west. It will actually take just about 10 minutes drive for you to arrive at Bugis and further down towards your CBD areas of City Hall and Raffles Place. So for your shopping and grocery needs, we have Yunos Crescent Market and Food Centre, which is just about 30 minutes walk away. We have fair price at your Juche Complex, which is within a 10 minutes walk as well. And just below Juche, Road would be the East Coast Road where you also find retail malls such as your I12 Katong for cold storage fresh and also popular bakeries are located there as well. Parkway Parade is just five bus stops down. You also have Geylang Sarai Market and Food Centre within two minutes drive. You know MRT is also just one station away from the interchange of Paya Lebar, which is a new hub consisting of three large shopping complexes including your PLQ, Singpo Centre, Paleba Square, which are all integrated with office spaces as well. So for our healthcare needs, we also have Yunos Polyclinic, which just opened last year. This is actually located right on the opposite side of Steel Road. We also have Parkway East Hospital, which is located along Juchet Place. And for schools within a one kilometer radius, we actually have Hague Girls School. Comparing the floor plan of this unit here vis-a-vis -vis a regular 3 plus study layout, you will notice immediately that the kitchen size here is outrageously huge. It's almost equivalent to the entire master bedroom size on top of the kitchen. We also get a much larger size bedroom tree, which is similar to your master bedroom area without the ensuite bathroom. The living area has also been enlarged when the developer previously expanded out into the open terrace space, topping up the unit with more indoor usable space. So as we walk into the living area, you're going to notice that this is actually an elongated layout. So you have your living and your dining area that has been nicely segmented. So what the owners have done up over here is the cabinetry which is in a wood grain laminate and it's matching on the cabinetry on the other end as well. So the cabinetry here are also in black and white finishes and is built all the way to the ground. And coming in on this side of the living area, you will notice that these are actually black glass tinted. You also have storage spaces that has been made for this side of the walls and also clever niches over here for you to put all your display items. So our unit here, even though it's a ground floor unit located just right beside the steel road, our developer has actually catered for that in mind by having the Fasina windows. The reason being, the Fasina windows actually have very quality seals. So after we close off the window, you actually notice that there is minimal road noise that can be heard inside the house. As we head into the dining area, we actually have two blank canvases for the walls as you can see on both sides of the house. So what this means for you is that you can actually expand your creativity in terms of putting what you require in the house. Now heading towards the back of this area, currently what our owners have done is they've placed a six-seater dining table but it can certainly fit up to an eight-seater dining table. Now let's go check out the kitchen. So the unit here has also been fitted with an automatic door as an entrance to your kitchen. We have a designated fridge space over here, currently fitting a two-door fridge, but if you require, there is actually a sufficient space for an even bigger fridge. So there are plenty of storage that the owner has done up for this house, but if you do require, you can actually have the option of placing more storage at the top. We have four full height panels of storage space over here. So even though this unit here has no household shelter, the owners have already catered for that in terms of the storage needs in the kitchen itself. 
enough. These cabinets are actually deep enough to place your stools and other necessities. And what is clever about this area is that you actually have a washer that is concealed behind the doors. We have plenty of top hung cabinetry in the kitchen as well. And these are actually granite stone tops. So granite tops are actually very good for the kitchen because they are actually non-porous and they are very resistant to heat and water. So we have a three burner stove top over here as well as a hood and they are both Bosch. We have a built-in oven in the kitchen as well. So as you can see, every inch of this kitchen has actually been utilised for storage needs. However, you actually don't feel the constraint in terms of the space here because of the large size of this kitchen. So you can imagine this kitchen itself is probably bigger than some of our rooms that we have. You can even fit in a king-size bed here if you need to. So fun fact, the owner actually shared with us that when she had friends and families over, the kitchen is actually big enough to host a buffet line. Now let's head on out where we'll share more about the pricing and financial analysis. So in terms of pricing, as we look at the new launches, three bidders, they are above 1,000 square feet in size. So as we look at Park Esther, which is a 99-year leasehold project that is expected to TOP later this year, having a transacted PSF at 1,006 to 1,007. Royal Hallmark, which is a freehold project expected to TOP in 2025, having a transacted PSF of around 1,008 to 2,002. Baywind Residences, which are also behold in nature, expected TOP in 2025, also looking at a transacted PSF range of 1,009 to 2,001. The new launch pricing has not yet reached the resale market where we will typically expect an additional two to three hundred dollars per square foot on top of the launch price when the project's TOP. So as we look at the resale units that are in this area, for an apple to apple comparison, we look at the three to four bedders that are single floor plate in nature, renovated and at least a thousand square feet in size. We have the Verbana at Juchiet, which is a freehold unit that TOP'd in 1996, a three-bader at a size of 1,162 square feet at an asking price of 1.9 million and a PSF of 1,635. One at Pulasan, which is a freehold project TOP'd in 2009, size at 1130 square feet with a PSF asking of 1592. D Castle, freehold project that TOP'd in 1996, a four-bader at a size of 1249 square feet, asking price of $2.5 million and a PSF of 2001. Our unit here at still 123, we hold in tenure, generous and fully utilizable space of 1281 square feet for a 3 plus study that is well renovated at an asking price of 1.92 million, keeping our PSF below the $1,500 mark at 1498. So as you can see, in terms of the price gap, we are looking at at least $100 to $500 per square foot against the freehold resale and the new launches in this area, which means it's going to be a safeguard in terms of your future exit. So from the financial analysis point of view, let us look at the non-renovated units versus the renovated moving condition ones. In terms of your potential cash outlay for a non-renovated unit, if you were to purchase into a $1.48 million unit today, your cash down payment would comprise of 5%, which is $74,000, your buyer stamp duty at $43,800, a renovation cost of approximately $100,000, factoring in approximately three to six months of renovation period. If you do require to rent a place at approximately $4,000 a month for the period of renovation, which will bring a cost of $24,000, your total initial cash outlay will be at $241,800. So versus a cash outlay for a renovated unit like ours, your purchase price of $1.92 million today, a cash down payment of 5%, which is $96,000, buyer stamp duty at $61.4,000, your total initial cash outlay will be at $157,400. So if you are looking for a unit at District 15, freehold in tenure, good size at 3 plus study, with minimal renovation required, so you actually don't have to wait. So now let me hand over to Melvin who will show you the rest of the house. So moving into the bedrooms, let's start off first with the study room. So the study room has actually been converted into the helper's resting room by the current owners. So what they have done is actually build out a full carpentry work of platform bed and further storage cabinets and also a wardrobe for all your storage needs. So of course, if you wish to convert this back into your study room in case you are still working from home or you have kids that are doing a lot of home-based learning, this can be done quite easily by removing the existing carpentry work. So on the left side of the study room, we do have the common bathroom. So this is a huge size common bathroom, rarely seen in projects nowadays uh, it's almost equivalent to a master on suite size so the owners have actually done out this full panel feature of mirror wall along with the mosaic tiles at the bottom you do get a vanity counter that has been cladded with marble and bottom huge size storage cabinets as well so moving inwards you have the wet area which you have your standing shower owners have already done up the glass sliding door panels to separate the wet and the dry area and at the top you do have two ventilation windows which is great for dispelling the moisture after your bath
So heading into the first common bedroom, you notice that the floorings are all done up in parquet flooring. And for this bedroom setup itself, it has been done with this loft bed. And you do get an empty space at the bottom, which you can also use as your study area. Or if you do have guests or friends coming over, you can actually lay out another mattress for them to crash. So you have four large panels of wardrobe space right under your bunk bed. And there are a lot of display shelving has been done up by the current owners. So moving in, in order to fully maximize the bay window space, the current owners have actually done up this study area. And what you get as well here is a very nice cozy corner segmented by your bookshelf. So of course, if you have a different kind of lifestyle and you prefer to not climb up the loft bed, you can easily remove the current fixtures and then convert this back to a regular bedroom, which can easily fit in a queen size or even king size bed along with your side table and dresser areas. So and now for the other second common bedrooms, same thing, flooring has also been done up in parquet. You do get a full size, full height wardrobe for this case. And the owners here have also fully maximized the bay windows area by doing up this fixture platform bed. So you do get a built-in study desk along this entire stretch with more storage shelf and open niche at the bottom. So in order to fully maximize storage space, you notice that the bed has been elevated up to almost a mid-height level, but you do get storage space right under the platform as well, which can be accessed from under your study table. You notice as long along the steps, you do get more pull-out drawers here to fully maximize any storage space available. The wall panel here has also a very nice delicate basket with laminate texture. So this adds on a slight designer feel of the whole area. So moving into the master bedroom, you'll see that the owners have actually installed this additional privacy screen. It's done out in a very nice rattan textured wallpaper. Same thing that you'll see later on in the headboard feature wall. So flooring is same in done in parquet flooring. You do get this large size walk-in wardrobe of eight panels. So the owners have actually placed an additional sort of dresser table at this area currently. If you like, of course, you can definitely install your TV or even projector and then convert this into your media screen. So on this corner, you have another large size L-shaped dresser table with a full on almost half height mirror cabinets. Sure enough, this will be definitely sufficient for your daily essentials and also your morning makeups. The bay window in the master bedroom has been cladded with a marble top. So this gives it an additional luxury feel. You just need to throw on some cushions and this will be a perfect spot for you to have a quiet night and read your book. So the current bed setup is actually a queen size bed with two side tables. So of course, if you prefer a larger bed, you can definitely upsize this to a king size bed by probably just removing one of the side tables. So you also notice that the headboard wall is actually been done up in the same textured wallpaper of the privacy screen. So this gives the whole room a very seamless feel and also a little bit of the resort luxury touch. So inside the master ensuite is done up in a similar design. So you do get wall tiles in a more natural beige brownish tone. You do get a large mirror glass panel cladded with mosaic tiles at the back for a designer feel as well. Your vanity area has also been cladded with the same marble design top and bottom storage cabinets. The glass shower screen has also been done up for your standing shower area. And this is also done in a sliding door fashion. So it actually helps to not take up space as compared to a swing door. So you do notice that your walk-in wardrobe area also has an additional panel of window which is great so it provides you a natural light source when you're dolling up for the day. So let's head out and take a look at what are some of the upcoming developments here in the area. The East region actually has a lot of upcoming developments to anticipate. One of these transformations would then be of the Bayshore area which is expected to host over 12,000 new homes comprising of both private and public residential in the near future. The entire 60 hectare area is expected to transform into the vibrant community hub including a featured Ningwei with direct access to the East Coast Park. This upcoming Bayshore precinct will also be served by two upcoming Thomson East Coast Line stations, Bayshore and Bedok South Station, targeted to be ready between 2024 and 2025. So for the East region, of course, we have the most recent talk about the Paya Lebar Air Base relocation. So what this does is that it will actually free up 800 hectares of space, which to put it into context is actually the size of five Topayo estates or the combination of homes in both Pongo and the Sengkang estates right now. So if you're on the lookout for a 3 plus study unit that's equivalent to your modern day 4 bedroom in size, freehold in status and you want to keep your PSF range below the 1500 PSF mark, do contact our listing managers, their details can be found right below. Do remember to hit the like and subscribe button on the Property Lean Brothers YouTube channel and watch out for our next home tour content. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Emma, Melvin Chan, Property, Property Lean Brothers, Brothers, always happy, happy to show you the place. place. 
padded with marble top, so this gives it an actually excellent. PSM Park, you might want to check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a bit stuck behind you already. <laughs>